All right, here we go. Another great weather day in Orchard Park. Sorry to Dan Fitz and Jenna Cottrell, who when they come up here, well, weather is an issue. Slightly breezy as we get set for football today. And uh, no, this is not the circumstances of the Denver Broncos. There are quarterbacks on this field. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to see these two young guys play. Obviously, Josh Allen in year three, who's been great. But uh, I'm telling you, the Chargers are in a really good spot with their young quarterback so far. And Justin Herbert has been everything and more that they could have hoped for since he took over. You know, he's averaging 299.9 yards a game as a rookie. Now, I keep saying this all the time. You can't make long-term projections on a guy in his first year. But he's starting to put together enough of a body of work, and he has guys like Keenan Allen and Mike Williams that can make plays that you start to think it's the norm for him to throw for big yardage more than it is an exception. So this kid can really play, and so far he's been really good, and the Bills' defense is going to have to be ready for him today. Um, Austin Eckler is playing. Uh, he's been out of action since the fourth week of the year. He is a very good all-around back for the Chargers. So getting him on the field, I think, is going to be big for their offense. And we know how the Bills have struggled stopping the run. Plus, Eckler can get out and catch the ball. Uh, you know, he's not quite Christian McCaffrey, but he plays in that sort of way. So I think that's going to be a key for them. As far as the Bills' offense is concerned, yes, the emphasis coming out of the bye has been let's see if they can run the ball better. And while I think that is the case, we know they're still a pass-first team with Josh Allen. Uh, the offensive line with changes this week. So let's see how the pass protection is, but let's also see if they get anything going with Mitch Morris back at center. The Mitch Morris mystery ended because Cody Ford is done for the year. Feliciano moves back to guard, and now Mitch all of a sudden is back. So whatever momentum that line had without Mitch Morris, they're going to try to get with him today. I really want to see Gabe Davis step up today. Uh, he had the decent game against Seattle, but he really has been not part of this offense since the early part of the year in September when he looked really good. And without John Brown out there, they could use another guy. Of course, that being said, when you are putting Stefan Diggs and Cole Beasley on the field, the two are having their career years, all pro years for both of them. That is the Bills' strength. So let's see what the Bills can do defensively today to try to slow down Herbert. I think they want to get off to a lead, and then I really do think they will attempt to get something going with the ground game. But I think it's going to be both teams chucking the ball a lot today. Slight breeze, sunny, beautiful day again in Orchard Park. I pick the Bills to score 30 every week. I'm going to pick them again this week, and I have the Bills winning this game by a final score of 31 to 28. Check out all of our coverage on Buffalo Plus and the ever-growing Buffalo Plus YouTube page. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you like and make any comments that you want, and we will answer them as best we can. So coverage today from Dan Fates, Jenna Cottrell, and myself here in Orchard Park. For now, with the Bills as they get set to play the Chargers, Mike Catalana, thanks for watching.